guys, I just want to make a quick video showing what I think is just the best and easiest way to bypass the Bose amp on uh, RSX Type S when you're putting an aftermarket radio. So because the Type S only, not the base model, instead of just having the head unit with the built-in amp go to the speakers, the head unit signal is not amplified, goes to the amplifier under the seat, goes into the amplifier, amplifier amplifies the signal, and then that goes up to the speakers. So pretty much if you just, if you have a Type S and you just upgrade your radio and that's it, uh, and it has a built-in amplifier like pretty much every aftermarket uh, head unit does you'll get extreme it'll be extremely loud and you'll have so much like static just because you know you have like it's being double amplified so that's why you need a uh, amp bypass and it's pretty simple and there's like tutorials online about it i'm gonna have the wiring diagram linked below but the best way is i mean people what people do is pretty much what people say to do is you cut these and you just splice them together based on the wiring diagram from the forum below but literally the better way is leave this completely how it is uh do as i say not as i do uh i messed with this like th this is i have like splices here like three times but literally just unplug your amp it's under the seat unplug your amp take i have 18 gauge solid core wire and literally just poke it just just stick it into where into there 18 gauge solid core like fits perfectly without moving like I can do this and I'm like pretty confident that this isn't gonna fall out and boom you can have your factory amp, amp wiring be perfect and then have it bypassed and if you ever want to go back to the stock radio literally just pull these out plug it back into the amp plug this back in you're good so uh this is the cheat code yeah